What's going on guys? My name is Micah and this is going to be the third video in the tutorial series. What we had before was the iPhone um, loading up a green block on the screen. So what we want to do now is we actually want to position that green block on the bottom of the screen uh, so that we can use it as the ground of our scene. So at first glance you would think, okay, well um, this looks like about 100 pixels right here. So I'm just going to subtract 100 pixels from its Y coordinate and we're gonna be good to go. And you could do that. So we could do ground.position. Every single node has a position property, um, which is a CG point. So we're gonna do CG point make, like we did before when we set the anchor point. And we're gonna call it zero minus 100. Because what's happening again with the positioning is zero zero is going to be the anchor point of the scene because we're adding it as a child of the scene. So you see, um, that looks pretty good. It's almost on the bottom of the screen. If I did 105, um, some guess and check, I could get it exact. And that would work out and everything. But let's say after I do this, I want to change the height of the ground, for instance. Like I think that's, let's say, I think that's too high for the ground. So I wanna change the ground to be about 50 instead of 100 points. And I'm just like, oh crap, well, um, now that I changed the size of the ground, it's no longer positioned correctly. Uh, it's no longer positioned on the bottom of the iPhone screen right there. So um, just a good programming practice I'm going to show you right now is you want to try to use the properties of the nodes to actually position your elements. So um, I'm going to resize this back to 100, put this to 0, 0 again, and we have what we had originally. So when you look at this, um, since we want to position this on the bottom of the screen, you can think of it as you want to subtract half of the height of this screen, and then you want to add in half the height of the actual size of the ground right here. So I'll show you what I'm talking about in the code. So instead of doing minus 100, we're going to do minus self. So we're grabbing the scene right now, dot frame, dot size, dot height over two. So now we have a half, it's subtracting half the height of our screen right here. So that's pretty good. Um, now we have it so half of the block is showing. Now we want to show the whole block. So to do that, we want to add back in the ground.frame.size.height over two. So now we're getting half the height of the ground back. And so now the block is perfectly positioned on the bottom. And if I actually end up wanting to change the height of the ground, I can, let's say I change it back to 50 right here, it's going to position it well, and it's just going to be less work for you in the end when you actually want to tweak things at the end of the game. So we'll push that back to 100 and the ground should be good to go. So um, we're going to add the hero now we're actually going to create the hero class so what we're going to do is you can go to file new file um, a really good command to memorize is just that command n um, a command just because you're going to be using a lot and the side we're going to click on coco touch objective c class hit next and i'm going to name this class the ml hero class so this is what i was talking about with the prefix you can put it in manually if you want um, I only use it sometimes, so I'm going to use it now. And you can use your own initials, or you can use mine. Um, that's totally up to you. Then this is going to be an SK sprite node, just like our ground object, because all our ML hero is going to be is he's going to be a square. So we'll hit next, save him in our project, and now we have the ML hero class. So the first thing you want to do when you create a new class is you want to create a factory method for returning that class. So to create a factory method, you put in this plus here. Um, if you've had some experience with Objective-C, um, this shouldn't look too unfamiliar. And I'm going to call this factory method hero. Um, generally with factory methods, I usually call it a uh, lowercase, uh, lowercase version of the actual name of the class. So if it's like ML generator, the factory method is generally generator. Or if it's ML hero, it's hero. Um, that's just my own convention. I think a lot of people use that themselves, and even Apple uses that a lot. So, 
Um, now we need to actually initialize the, and return the hero in this method. So we're going to do ML hero hero equals ML hero. Now remember the ML hero class inherits from the SK sprite node class. So that means that every single method that SK sprite node has, ML hero has access to. So remember that sprite node with color method we used to create the ground. We're going to use that again with the ML hero. And instead of making, a, making him a green block, we're going to make him a black block. And then for the size, we're going to do CG size make. And we're going to make him, let's say, 50 by 50 points. Actually, let's do 40 by 40. So now we've created a little black block um, with the ML hero class. So now we need to return the hero. And one last thing is you need to make sure to put this method name in the implementation file so that, um, so that other classes can access this method outside the ML hero class. So now go back to your scene and you want to import the ML hero class. And now we're just going to create the hero just like we did the ground. We're going to do ML hero hero equals ML hero hero. So this is the factory method that we actually just created and it's returning that black block um, that we wrote in the code. So now we want to do self add child hero. Now when we run this we're going to get a hero centered in the screen right there. That's going to be um, that's going to be our hero node. And as you can see, if you don't set the position property of a node, it's always going to be positioned at 0, 0. So in the next tutorial, we're going to cover um, actual physics. We're going to add physics bodies to these guys so they'll actually start interacting with each other.